lesson 63 and today we start teaching the doxologies in all eight hijos uh, before we actually do the music for each of the hijos i want you to know how to read the doxologia because like we said before in byzantine music even though sometimes i use the verb composed really music is tonalized or the doxologia is uh, tonalized tonismeni doxologia meaning that uh, the composers quote unquote took the text and created the music based on the text and because the greek language is tonic it has tonality to it you need to understand where the accents fall so you can tonizo sosta Okay, and today we're going to see how to read the doxologia so that every time we do it in each different echoes, you know where the accents go and how the different echoes use different melodic lines to accentuate the text uh, in the appropriate way. Uh, first things first, what is doxologia? Doxologia is an antiphonal hymn, meaning that the left and the right chanters are chanting it one stichos one verse at a time so antiphony both sides of the soleas alpha and vita chanters antiphonun antiphonundes uh, they are using antiphony between themselves um, it is a um, it, it, it's called doxologia from the verb uh, doxa well the word doxa si to di tofos so the first word doxa gives the name of the whole hymn doxologia uh, doxa means glory and basically it's a glorification hymn to god glory for god doxologia uh, uh, when it comes to to its place within the uh, liturgy uh, so you need to know that every sunday we have two parts orthros or matins and liturgia or liturgy and both of these uh, services uh, they last about one hour each doxologia is the last hymn of the maidens right before the liturgy starts so it's a very good idea for you to go and stay next to the chanter when he stands and uh, hum the ison and try to understand uh, the different characteristics uh, of each ichos because each of the eight modes they have their own uh, doxologia so it's a very good idea for you to go a little bit before the liturgy and listen to the doxologia and that's a great way to introduce yourselves uh, familiarize yourselves with uh, hijos. The doxologias that we are going to be studying in this course are tonalized by uh, one of the greatest, probably the greatest, most recognized musician of the Eastern Orthodox Church called Petros Lambadarios Peloponnesios. Uh, Petros is his name. Uh, Peloponnesian because uh, his uh, the the place of his um, descent was uh, uh, Peloponnese in in Greece, but he moved to uh, Smyrna, Izmir, Turkey, and then he moved to Constantinople, and there he became the Lambadarios, that is the left chanter or the Vida chanter of the Patriarchate. He passed away in 1777 and uh, he is the one that tonalized these uh, doxologias. Right after the doxologia, the priest says, Evlogimeni Vasilia tu Patros, and we start the liturgy. And now we're going to read the doxologia just for you to familiarize yourself with the toni, with the accents and how the uh, uh, lyrics flow. Megali doxologia, great doxology. Doxasi to dixandi to fos, doxa en ipsistis theo, kepigi sirini en anthropis evdogia. I'm not going to do this with every verse, but I wanted to uh, use my pen uh, to emphasize where the accent falls. Doxasi to dixandi to fos, 
δόξα εν υψίης της Θεό και επί γης ειρήνη εν ανθρώπης ευδοκία. So you can see Greek is a very tonic language and you really need to compose based on this tonality. Therefore you need to tonalize the text. Υμνούμεν σε, ευλογούμεν σε, προσκυνούμεν σε, δοξολογούμεν σε, ευχαριστούμεν σε, δια την μεγάλη σου δόξαν. Okay, I'm emphasizing a little bit the tonality so you can get used to that ακούσμα, um, to that uh, listening. Κύριε Βασιλεύ, επουράνιε θε, πάτερ παντοκράτορ, κύριε ιέ μονογενές, Ιησού Χριστέ και Άγιον Πνεύμα. And by the way, every time you see a new sentence, that's a new verse for the other chanter to chant. Κύριε ο Θεός, ο αμνός του Θεού, ο Υιός του Πατρός, ο αίρον την αμαρτίαν του κόσμου, ελέησον ημάς ο αίρον τας αμαρτίας του κόσμου. The next chanter. Πρόσδεξε την δέησιν ημών, ο καθήμενος εν δεξιά του Πατρός και ελέησον ημάς. Ότι σι ή μόνος Άγιος, σι ή μόνος Κύριος, Ιησούς Χριστός εις δόξαν, Θεού Πατρός, αμήν. Καθεκάστην ημέραν ευλογήσωσε και ενέσω το όνομά σου εις τον αιώνα και εις τον αιώνα του αιώνος. Καταξίωσον, Κύριε, εν τη ημέρα ταύτη, αναμαρτήτους φυλακθήνε ημάς. Ευλογητός η Κύριε, ο Θεός των Πατέρων ημών, και εν ετών και δεδοξασμένον το όνομά σου εις τους αιώνας. Αμήν. Γέννη το Κύριε το ελαιό σου εφημάς, καθάπερ ηλπίσαμεν επισέ. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξών με τα δικαιώματά σου. Every time you see γάμα in parenthesis, that means say it three times. You remember when you see a letter and the prime, that means a numeral, αλφα, βίδα, γάμα, three times. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξών με τα δικαιώματά σου. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξών με τα δικαιώματά σου. Κύριε καταφυγή εγεννήθης ημίν εν γενεά και γενεά. Εγώ είπα, Κύριε ελέησον με, ίασε την ψυχή μου ότι ημαρτώνσι. Κύριε προσέκατεφυγον διδαξών με του ποιήν το θέλημά σου ότι σύει ο Θεός μου. Ότι παρασύ πηγή ζωή εν το φωτί σου ο ψώμεθα φω. Παράτηνον το έλεό σου τη γινό κουσίσε. Άγιο ο Θεό, Άγιο ισχυρό, Άγιο αθάνατο ελέισον ημά. Άγιο ο Θεό, Άγιο ισχυρό, Άγιο αθάνατο ελέισον ημά. Άγιο ο Θεό, Άγιο ισχυρό, Άγιο αθάνατο ελέισον ημά. Δόξα πατρί και ιό και αγίο πνεύματι. I am doing the sign of the cross because you are chanters. You are not merely musicians. You are church musicians, so to speak, but you are above all chanters. So you need to know the proper etiquette inside the church so the congregation can see you and know when they should be making the sign of the cross. And I think we talked about this when we talked about the patriarchal chanters called teachers. That's why we call them teachers, because they teach people when to stand, when to sit, when to kneel, when to do the sign of the cross and so on. So you need to know that every time you say the Agios of the Os or the Trisayon, you make the sign of the cross. Doxa Batri, you make the sign of the cross. Genin, you don't. Και νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Άγιο αθάνατο ελέισον ημά. Άγιο ο Θεό. Άγιο ισχυρό. Άγιο αθάνατο ελέισον ημά. And all of these sentences they are uh, chanted left, antiphonically, left and right chanter. Uh, and by the way, every time you see three, first chanter, then the second chanter, then back to the first chanter. Um, or it, it depends who starts, maybe it's the second one who starts. Uh, uh, it depends on the time. Same thing here, when you see it three times, not one chanter chants it three times, it's both chanters. Okay. Uh, and then at the end of this trisayon, we always chant this small hymn that goes 
σήμερον σωτηρία το κόσμο γέγονεν, άσομεν το αναστάντη εκτάφου και αρχηγό της ζωής ημών, καθελών γαρ το θανάτο των θάνατων, τον νίκος εδωκεν ημίν και το μέγα έλεος. And when you say έλεος, that's the end of Orthros, the maidens, and the priest uh, starts the liturgy by ευλογημένη η βασιλεία του Πατρός. So this is the last word of the Orthros that you are going to be chanting um, Sunday morning uh, when, you, when you go a little bit earlier and you can, uh, you can chant the doxology with a chanter. Okay, I think that's all I have for the reading of the doxology. And next time we're going to actually start the first ichos of the doxologia by Peter the Lampadarios. Thank you so much for being with me and I will see you next time.